quite a strong session when we put the experience there. Her experience was hard. Uh, and I, in fact, I had to stimulate her a lot to come out because the expectation to come out was very strong. And the session did not finish here. This was kind of half of the session. And uh, maybe some of you found that uh, uh, I, I pushed her maybe too much, but the, there was a preoccupation in uh, going into something strong and coming back into uh, uh, self-regulation and then coming back again, self-regulation and coming back again. But I was not afraid that she could go further in her expressions. And uh, these moments that she was going further, she was expressing, expressing herself more strong. Uh, it was moments when, when she went out of her place, <coughs> when she opened the doors, she started to open the doors. And somehow it was hard, but necessary. So I want to give kind to listen to my colleagues. Uh, I listen to all the, all the critics you might have. <laughs> critics are not well. <laughs> No, the first side, I, I can I ask then? I, I just would like Rubens to say shortly how how did the session end and in which position? If you can summarize, you can summarize. Well, you know, I, I I think this was uh, the beginning of of the changement uh, when when she starts to find to find her existence when she starts to say I exist. You know, from this moment on, uh, I think the session really initiated. I think the, the, the whole thing that we saw, it was kind of a preparation for an initiation process of uh, being in the world, of existing. But know? this is your interpretation. I would so, like to hear how you, the session ended yeah. from the movement. Just a description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it ended. Yeah. Um, uh, the session after, uh, we follow different, a different kind of movement. You know. uh, my interpretation of the movement, of the movement was, uh, it was with the help of some colleagues in the group to give support for, for her leg and for her arms. And it was a kind of bird, vertical bird, I call it. It was, it was in a symbolic way, you know. It was, uh, the birth of her existence, you know, and it, it ended with with this meaning uh, of being in the world, uh, being there in the group, being with the colleagues, being with me, and accepting the presence of the others. Uh, if you want, I, later I can show. If we have time, I can show how how it, it ended. I have here. Right. Okay. Let's pick up that just to. So, at the first side, I can say that uh, I find the process uh, good. This is my first impression. Good, I mean that fluently and uh, with some interesting steps. Uh, it's very similar to my work, I can say. So, I can see the process. You started with the body contraction and you amplified, then you worked. Uh, on what we can call maybe dynamic postures. Uh, you know, you found a posture and you moved and you mobilized. So you you were like a you can say like an artist catching off an artist like artist, that. yes mm -hmm. catching uh, taking off some meaning. <coughs> and the crucial point uh, was for me when you said uh, I exist with an uh, with an identification. Um, so the step was uh, focalizing on the body, the sensation of the contraction, amplify, amplification, then working on the posture, amplifying <coughs> the posture, mobilizing the posture, and then amplifying the sympathetic level you know, toward the anger, the strength, uh, and Maybe I found a little bit of a point where I thought and I felt it's a little bit too much because I saw her face terrified. 
this was a point that it's my question, but you are the therapist. So uh, from outside, uh, it's different. <laughs> and inside, the face, the face? Terrified. 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 Scared. Very scared. And like this. And, uh, and another thing, uh, and toward the end, you insisted uh, creating sympathetic strength, energy, and force. And maybe uh, I, I felt maybe it's the time to give another kind of energy to welcome, to take uh, her with your, with your chest, to nourish her. So, because if, if you interpret or you identified this uh, moment as a birth, uh, and you did something like that because you said you exist, so it, it was like a birth. Maybe I thought uh, it, it was the time to take her uh, in a uh, more, how to say, more warm way. Also because I saw again her face, uh, very excited, but it was, I, I didn't know if it was okay or if she did, uh, this is my doubt, the only doubt, but did I do this to please the therapist uh, or because I want really to, I, I feel okay. So, I, I, this is only my doubt, okay, at the end. But I like it, it was very good and you could uh, help her to stop withdrawing. could help her stop withdrawing. Stop withdrawing, yeah, but you are asking withdraw. why she was withdrawing? Yes. Uh, How did you think that she was withdrawing? She said at the beginning, she felt with withdrawal. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. okay. oh okay. this is And uh, uh, this is <laughs> And also I can, I can no, no, make I a night of this, this. No, no, from I the face, from the, you know. But she said clearly. You could see it from the breathing pattern. The breathing pattern is a is a high well, chest. Uh, also good, you know, she okay. said it. Well, I'm positive. I just didn't hear it. Okay. And maybe I say something. Um, I was reflecting uh, on your film in a way, on the session in a way, and I want to take it also a little bit away from Rubens. Also, he, he's a therapist in the session. But I think we all uh, come into situations like that with patients and um, different types of patients and then we take certain choices. Certain choices. choices. Mm -hmm. We take certain, exactly. certain ways. That's what you were talking, you took certain yeah. choices. And then I, I found several situations where I may have chosen different, a different way, I have gone different ways. Also I can sympathize with the way you went, so that's not the point because I think we all uh, come uh, uh, into these situations where we interpret the, the situation in a certain way. Yeah, we have, I myself, from my school, I have some, uh, I have character, logical understanding of the situation, so it runs through my mind, what character time is it, is it, uh, what stage is in right now, and then, uh, and so on. But what, what we do from our school, we would much more uh, verbalize. So we would much verbalize. more verbalize, we would much more talk, we would much more check with the person what, how, where they are, how they are, what they do. So the meaning-making process uh, from our school, my point of view, it comes more through the, pro the inner process of the client. So I'm not dependent so much on what I interpret from outside, but I try to find out, to check out and to to give the person a chance to reveal the inner life of her in, in a situation like that. Yeah? And uh, so that, that would have given me more, let's say, more clues in a certain way and how to continue, how to proceed. I also could see the terror in her face. So that, that, so that we, we can put several interpretations on if somebody's in, in fear and terror, which is a specific kind of a fear. 
uh, if it's an old one or is it something she just recently experienced, something more which comes up, uh, and so on. So, so in, in, in dialogue, in yeah, verbal dialogue, but on exactly to the point where, where she is, you, you find more out what's going on. And also in unitive psychology, we work a lot also with images. So we, 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 we use the imagery a person has to understand the process which goes on. And uh, so, so for example, the, I mean, I can, I can say, okay, when we say, when we would conclude, it's a, it's a kind of an early, in a Luminian interpretation, a kind of a, a schizoid character, so the right to exist is important. So to come to the point, I exist, I'm here, I live in this world, I'm not withdrawn, I don't hide myself completely, I am there. So, but I wasn't sure if this was exactly what was actually her inner life. And the, the point was, I, but, but I can say that later because she, they, uh, somebody made an interview with her uh, afterwards uh, to, to, to explain, to, uh, there she had the chance to explain her inner the inner process, but so far I would like to say what I just said. Oh. First, I want to say that um, I agree with this, uh, with this work. We can do something very similar, very identical. So, follow the, the inner movement, the block movement, follow the posture, and go on more on contraction. What is uh, uh, nice or funny for me is to see how. We have different way to to describe. We talk about tensions. We talk. So me, I will say more. It means energy. So I will. will I will. If I uh, work more actively, I will more uh, touch the body to to find the, the, the energy inside, like strongly. To to, she felt more the energy coming, less in her, in a, it's not, I can't do that. I just say how I, when we describe all of us, we have some different description. And then what is, uh, uh, I will not, I was more shocked when you choose to say, I exist, you say, this is a, a show with schizoid and all that, but I will less more what happened there. But I liked in the over thing when over time when you say, do you feel your leg? Yes or no? That means be be there. Ask answer. Don't let me do the, the full work. <laughs> you know, just participate. This is was very yes or no? It was very really authoritarian, but it was good. To grab, to grab, but I didn't use this word more. It's authoritarian, more than decide I exist. Mm -hmm. But uh, another thing, when you say the woman came, this is difficult to see on the video because when we work, we have some feeling of the person that we have not in a video that the energy, if it is sexual energy come or woman energy come, we feel it. But in the video we don't feel it. So it's difficult for me to say if it's a, to, to judge that it can be exactly the same word that we use. Because like give a mirror of the energy coming what I feel. But uh, uh, and the another thing is uh, um, Okay, it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough. Uh, we, we all, uh, I think when we talk, we have all these feelings that the following we will be, but with little more talking, more taking in, more. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a question? Or yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, to what you say, François, about touching to access the energy in a different way, Do, did you have any sense where or how you would have come in from that? For example, person? when, when it, the energy was in a, in a leg, 
it was uh, it can be to to go in the muscles looking for the the strength of energy and at the or it can be uh, I don't know, it's it's more a vision when uh, Mauricio said contraction you go more in contraction I will take more restricted energy and try to to energy come come to the to, to give more awareness and give more energy for me is awareness is a mind and uh, and vital is the same it's when energy come it come more images it come more uh, awareness what to move the body want to do more what is in the moment dynamic <coughs> Um, in the beginning, you, you, um, I know nothing about the theories of your work, I just have a question from what I observed. In, in, in the beginning, you helped her to uh, or even reinforce her contraction happen, what you mm -hmm. And then there's a moment when it went into something like a fight, and uh, it looked for me like that because she was kind of coming out of it. And I'm wondering whether this change something that she initiated or it was something that you thought would be good for her and, and helped her. That's my question. No, I can wanted to make that clear. Um, I, was, I, was, I was not doing any pressure on her. I was just following her movement and just giving my presence with my hands. I was not pushing her uh, into any kind of position. And uh, for example, when I called uh, one of one of the persons from the group to be under her, her foot uh, is it was not uh, uh, it was because I felt her legs were, were like that and her legs were lost in the space you know and I wanted to give just a presence there so she could uh, feel her leg uh, uh, more clear uh, existing more clear you know and uh, that was the idea but uh, he, he was not Pushing, he was not doing anything. He was just there to let her leg exist. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, the whole, the whole session followed uh, this kind of this content. You know, uh, let her come. Mm -hmm. Of course, in some moments, as you saw, I did stimulate her mm -hmm. a lot, and uh, it, it it was clear for me that uh, her face uh, was expressing fear was expressing fear, but uh, as Ilse told, there is a moment when there is a choice, you know, each of us will choose to do one way or other, you know, and, uh, and my idea that uh, she, she could face the fear, you know, and she could come out with the anger, you know, of the fear that she was feeling, you know? so the, of course she, she didn't look fine. Uh, during uh, during this moment, she she was she was in fear. She was very much afraid. She was very much angry uh, at the situation of having to be close and have uh, or having to run away from uh, from here, from be here, from being here. You know, and uh, uh, my presence there was you know when you are in fear. You know, for example, Francois is a lot afraid. And I give my hand to him and say, we go together, you know, let's go together. And if he goes more into fear, you know, so I, I support him, okay, we go. <laughs> yeah. the, idea, the idea is that, you know, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not uh, because it might look like torture, but it's not torture. It's totally different, you know. <laughs> when you are there, when you are there, yeah. you know, you are there with the person to support her to come out. You know, if you have somebody in fear, you don't just let, okay, stay with her fear there. You, you kind of give a hand to come out from the, from the place. And the work was very much in the body. I was waiting for, for meanings later on. Otherwise, she would, she would keep in that place uh, forever. 
suggest, I want to underline this kind of thing. Yeah. I saw that you provide a good structure. <coughs> you work on the body, on a level of body relationship. And you provided good contact, good uh, structure, and a good, uh, how to say, scaffold with the, the person of the group. So she felt, maybe she felt contained. Yes. Yeah? She was contained, yes. yes. I think uh, we all, uh, the, uh, the title for our seminar is Diversities and, and uh, Similarities. And I think we all agree on that your strong presence in, with a client like that, in that situation, that was really needed because, you know, she was so timid and so in that state. So your <coughs> presence was very obvious. And I think we all agree that in that situation, you as the therapist, uh, uh, to identify with your position and the choice you made at that point to be really present for her. And I think she felt that very strongly. And I would have taken the same uh, position like you and I think was what to yes, yeah. from you. So this is a similarity. <coughs> Whatever our uh, other approaches are, this is what's really needed. And that helped. I mean, that was probably the main, the main help in that. At, at the same time that I understand very much when you say you could use some, you could do with words, you could do, uh, you could do easier this work. You could make it easy. You could make it easy, you know. But uh, uh, not at that, that, that moment. That was not it's the moment. Yes, yes. 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 And I, I, I focus on the, the position of the. It's just to agree. With the position is at the same time very distant. I mean, you are like a, yes. a, 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 not in a process. You are. Strong reference, not move, but, but in the same time, very calling her. Yeah. This yes. is one of the particularities you can call people if you have a link. <laughs> this, uh, but this, uh, I, will, I, I have less this calling, this is a question of character, but this present, strong, uh, secure. But the person can be like this and say, yes, it's okay, it's very good. And she go in fear or when you can shout and all but you stay like this, this was this is very, very secure for the patient. Yes. It's very, very good. Yes, it was love security. Okay. Okay. I want people in the audience. Yes. yes. Um, I was very impressed by the brief of the clients. Because uh, uh, at the end of the exercise of the breath, uh, uh, it seems to be a breath like a board breath. Uh, it was um, closed uh, at the beginning and then <coughs> she uh, toxes, no? And then after began to uh, breath uh, uh, deeply, I, I, I think. And then the second I think, uh, uh, I don't know if uh, she was uh, scared uh, or something like that, but uh, <coughs> know how she feels after the experience, what was, uh, what were the, uh, their feelings, and if uh, she felt them, uh, herself uh, stronger or uh, better in any way. Maybe, maybe uh, I will show her, her we'll statement comment. after the, after the session. Yeah, the I want to, to add another, another choice, very different. The, several times during the session, she come back in the, in the, not really the, the, the again she come back. And uh, uh, for me, there is a big difference of work between the sabotage and, and the in, enable inability. Some people can do something and make a sabotage. Sabotage and sabotage. inability. 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 Okay. It's not at all the same word. When you have not the right to do something, yeah. and the other you cannot do something. When you must learn to do it, but if you have not the right, when you learn to do it, you become sick. For example, if I not for a monk, if you give desire, a lot of sexual desire, it makes him in trouble. Mm -hmm. It's not good 
that if I have no desire, it's different than if I have no right of desire. And sabotage is often something connected with the pain of the of the of the of the ancestors. So it's another word absolutely different to make the parents happy, to make the grandparents happy. Not to express something but to be to every the right to be there. It's not to say I exist but to to put the ancestors happy, ah, I'm right to be there because I don't need to be like them, which doesn't exist. So it's absolutely another choice, and another choice is to work, to let her like this. And uh, it's, it's, it's all different, but this choice is not really, I think, <laughs> Well, that's why doesn't get really clear what you want to ask. Doesn't get really clear what you wanted to say. To let her. To let her what? In the group like this. Ah, don't work. Okay. Just say, no, no, no. Okay. I see. And Okay, you don't. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. You don't want okay. We'll let you. We and amplify the disaster. Yeah. Of course. Not all sessions are like that. This was a dramatic session. <laughs> it's unusual to have dramatic sessions like that. Uh, it's not that I do dramatic sessions like that always. It doesn't work like that, you know. But this was a dramatic session uh, coming from the body. And the body was very much present. And the idea here was to, to share, you know, this relationship, this body relationship between therapist and patient <coughs> in a dramatic session. Michael. Yes, I was I was very impressed favorably I mean, by, by something. It, well, there's many ways of reading in a film like that. So my inner reading was grounded. So I saw a well, well, already you decided to work standing, which I would say is one of the big originalities of body psychotherapy in general. And you was you were very solidly implanted, and at the beginning she was I would say pseudo grounded. That is, she was standing up, but there was no, uh, there was no energy in the grounding. And the whole process, I saw it as you helping her to be, to ground herself in front of you, with the transferential meaning it means. And at the end, as when she says you're mirroring me, you were, but she, you were both grounded face to face. And if you think of the "I exist" sentence, that was one of the best solutions I could imagine. Sure, sure, sure. Do you say I have one more yeah, thing yes, I would like to say because it just appeared uh, while I was reflecting again on the, on, on, on the session. Um, <clears throat> I mean, um, the working with the contraction, in the Russian sense, it meant like go, uh, uh, going into the, uh, into the opposite direction, uh, into expression and uh, decontraction. But in her case, I think it was both. It was a, sozusagen, a, second, a second element in First was the uh, expression, and then what you helped her is to develop a, a new function and something else, and, and then just uh, just uh, you know releasing something or to express something, but then to have grown something which did not exist before, so to speak. You know that as a growing process. Yes. That's also, and I, I think in the session actually both happened. You helped her to to reverse the, the, the contraction in a certain way, but you also help her to, to have something, a new function, or if you would it to say it's by functionalism, to grow in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So I, I just wanted to point out this. Uh, the, to existential, the existential thing is not only subjective, it's a body, it's a body existence too. It means the legs, the, the muscle, yes. the breathing. Uh -huh. It becomes evident. It becomes it become evident and, yeah. and more expanded. So it's, it's not only subjective existence, it's bloody existence together with subjective existence. So uh, it, uh, this end here, we can say it was very existential, you know. But later on, we have other things of what else should exist in her life, you know. Yeah. So we, we came up with other things, but uh, yeah. this was the starting point of, of existence. If you, if you 
don't mind. I would like, just like to show her statement. It's only two minutes, and then we can we can finish. Is that all right for you? Yes. 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 And yes. Is it in French? Switch up. Is it in French? Yes. Yes. 